What's up Royals, I'm Kai, hope you're doing well, and in this video, we're going to ID a Monsoon Clutch. I bet you guys didn't know I was working Monsoon into some of my projects, but before we get to that, I have an announcement to make. You guys all know that I've been with Redline Shipping. I've been a customer of theirs long before the sponsorship. Their service is impeccable. You got to give them a try. Their promo code is down in the description below. The Redline family has been good to me. They've taken care of all my shipping needs and they'll take care of your shipping needs as well. So go give them a try. Okay, now for the announcement, we have another sponsor to this channel. And you guys all know him. Charlie over at Grey Rider Reptiles. Shedtesting.com is now an official sponsor on this channel. I've talked about them before. They've been a sponsor on a couple of videos. So this just feels right. I've known Charlie for a while now. I consider him a friend. I don't know why we didn't do this sooner, but better late than never. Go check out ShedTesting.com. Three new tests were added to the website, VPI Exantic, Desert Ghost, and Puzzle. And soon he'll have the Monsoon test, which is what I've been waiting for. Check out their website, ShedTesting.com, promo code down in the description. Speaking of Monsoon, let's ID this clutch. This is my first clutch of the 2024 season. And I wanted to make this video sooner, but this guy right here was the reason I didn't. He just didn't want to shed. Now I have to admit, the intro was a little bit misleading. You're not going to see a visual Monsoon in this video. But what I thought we could do is look through all the animals from this clutch and look for those monsoon het markers. This one, you can tell, doesn't look like a typical normal. And in fact, I've already asked Austin to take a look and he glanced at it for like one second and said, yeah, that's het monsoon. So let's take a look at what makes this a het monsoon or has the markers of a het monsoon. If you look at the head, it's got a pattern. Usually the normals do not have a pattern. They might have a little bit of blushing, but for the most part, it's one consistent color. Maybe there's a little dark spot in the center for a normal, but they usually don't have pattern or we call head stamp. And if I can find a picture, I'll throw one on the screen of what a normal looks like so you can do a comparison. Now the other marker is look at the wacky pattern. It has almost like a GHI pattern where they're thinner and they try to go over the dorsal and connect to the other side. You can see they don't have the regular arches of a normal, but instead they have these that try to go over and some of them do end up going over the dorsal and connecting. The other thing you can look for are within the alien heads. You see how there's like peppering? This has more peppering than the typical normal. And again, it looks a little bit like the GHI, not the color, but just the pattern. If this little guy will let me show you underneath, I don't think the camera's picking it up very well, but when you're looking for it, look for a little bit of yellowing right next to the, the, the last line right here before the side meets the belly. So those are three things that you can check for. And then lastly, this one might not show up very well. The eye stripes are a little bit lower and thinner. We'll get a different one to show you those. Now this one is not out of that clutch. This is actually the sire to that clutch. And he is a Mojave Triple Het Lavender Pied Monsoon. And you can see how the eye strips are very thin. In fact, they kind of pinch and break off. And also, well, he's in shed, but also you can see his pattern is very wacky. Usually the, Mon the Mojave pattern has an alien head that kind of floats. So if you can imagine that part down here being covered by my finger doesn't exist, it would just be these floating alien heads. But here you can see how they're wacky. They kind of stretch all the way down. They're connected and they have some that go over 
the dorsal. So that's what I want you to remember. This one is a 100% monsoon. So I'm showing you this because the next hatchling I want to show you is also a Mojave. And we're going to try to compare the dad, which is 100% monsoon, to his hatchling. So here he is. This is the Mojave hatchling from that sire. And you can see his eye bands are thinner. They're not pinched off like the dad's, but they are thinner and they're a little bit pushed out to the side. Now his pattern is very similar to the dad's where you have a lot of these alien heads that go down connected to the belly. A lot of wacky pattern over here. You can see a lot of them don't look like the typical Mojave alien heads. Some of them are melted. Some of them look like just popcorn exploding from the belly. And then up here, over here, he's got these all melted together as well, just like the dad did. So I think this one and that normal I just showed you would or will prove out to be 100% het for monsoon. And if we look at underneath, let's see if this guy has the oranges. Uh, he doesn't have those oranges on this one maybe because the Mojave kind of wipes out some of the color but all in all this guy has a lot of the characteristics of a Het Monsoon. Let's take a look at one more. This right here is a Mojave Enchi and this looks somewhat typical of a Mojave Enchi although it does look a little bit better than most Mojave Enchis, I think because there are other Hets involved, could be the Het Pied that is throwing some of this blushing up and in fact almost making this complete ringer all the way around. You can see that there's some white coming up. So it's got a half of a ringer and that could be the Pied doing that. It will be difficult to see if there are oranges underneath because of that pied ringer because it, it's already orange. So we don't know if the orange is caused by the het pied or by the het monsoon. But overall, this is a beautiful animal. I can't wait to have all three of them tested to see if our guesses are correct. But yeah, look at that. Look at all the blushing. Very, very beautiful. Now, I've gone through what I think are het markers for the monsoon. If you know any other het markers, make sure you comment down below. We can use this video and the comments for future reference. I can't wait for shedtest.com to come out with the monsoon test so I can get these three tested and then we'll find out for sure. Make sure you stick around, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be making a video of the shed test results. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, Royals for Life. Peace out.